Well, welcome to our brief webinar today. We've, we've got a long list of attendees and we're thrilled that you've taken the time to tune in to some information that we promise will be well worth your time. My name is Scott McKeon. I, I lead the sales efforts here for iPayables and I'm joined by one of our co-founders and chief technology officer, John Title. So John and his two business partners developed our supplier portal and secured the original patent on that portal over 20 years ago, which today serves tens of thousands of suppliers processing tens of billions of dollars electronically. In our brief time together this afternoon, we hope to illustrate for you the benefits of incorporating a vibrant, active supplier portal as the core of your AP automation strategy and the impact that strategy can have on your entire organization. Allow me to set the stage here before turning it over to John with helping to frame up for you what we believe is probably the number one challenge, not only facing accounts payable today, but, but all stakeholders, both internal and external, since payables impacts everyone. Digital transformation is a, is a buzzword and it's all around in all aspects of our lives, but most especially in the workplace. Becoming increasingly outdated to handle paper and support manual processes. And now we know there's a host of issues that come from continuing with a manual AP process, delays, errors, audit concerns, lack of visibility and lack of control. But you know, in, in, in all of our time spent meeting with AP staff throughout the country and in various industries, the common thread we witness is that it's just plain demoralizing to continue with the status quo when everyone knows there's a far better way of doing business. So what does the modern AP solution look like? I'll now turn the time over to John to demonstrate for us. Thank you, Scott. As we talk about um, what an modern AP um, environment or solution looks like, and as we talk about automation, in our 20 years, we've really identified, if you will, the three main stages of accounts payable processing. Uh, the capture of invoices, uh, the workflow or matching of those invo invoices, and then of course uh, the payment on the tail end of that. Uh, and as we look at each of those stages, it, it's pretty obvious to us and we, and we think um, to those that have, are looking for efficiency in the organization that you need to have a set of tools and capabilities within each of those stages to meet your supplier's needs. Um, to really meet them where, where they are in their automation journey as well. On the capture side, that means being able to support your large suppliers with EDI and file upload. It means being able to still process those invoices that are coming in um, on paper or email as PDFs. And of course, as we're talking about today and as we'll demonstrate a little bit, the ability to engage your suppliers um, in the vendor portal, being able to support web entry um, and other features there. On the workflow side, advanced AP automation requires that we can match to POs with a high percentage of those coming through as straight through touchless PO matched invoices. Of course, we're gonna have non-PO um, invoices or POs not based on purchase orders or invoices come in and those need to be workflowed for approval as they go through organization. And of course, there's exceptions that need to reach the right people within your organization in a timely fashion and be easy for them to resolve those exceptions. On the payment side, um, check has been around for a long time and will continue to be a, a factor um, for a segment of the vendor population. But ACH with dynamic discounting and virtual card are fast becoming the modern way that suppliers are paid um, and AP departments both find efficiency as well as turn their more advanced processes into ways for the organization to be more profitable. Now, we've talked a lot about kind of the capabilities in AP what does that have to do with our vendor portal? Well, you'll find the vendor portal, and especially a robust feature rich vendor portal, um, undergirds all of these stages. It's the glue that holds the AP process together and really brings efficiency um, to our accounts payable folks. The portal itself requires that it have features that feed each of these stages from invoice entry and file upload on the capture side, validations, um, and dispute resolution as part of the workflow, and of course, remittance and reconciliation and dynamic discounting on the payment side. We'll look at a few of these as we step through the demo, um, highlighting kind of how the portal um, does each of them. And we'll talk briefly about, about how the benefit to the supplier helps make your AP process better. As we look about, talk about um, invoice entry and capture, it's important to 
recognize that suppliers want to participate in the electronic invoicing process. But for those suppliers that may not be technically sophisticated or may not be ready to invest in large or expensive systems or networks, online entry is a way for them to participate. Upfront validations ensure that the information provided by the vendor is accurate and can be understood by both your systems and your processes. Well, let's dive into um, our application here. We're just gonna go on over to um, our screen here. And we're gonna enter an invoice as a supplier. Today, I'm a supplier, I'm uh, our friends at Through Glass, and they provide window washing services and other services related to um, windows. And I'm gonna flip a purchase order into an invoice. Now you'll notice that our intelligent invoice entry uses the information that the system already knows about the customer, the vendor, in this case, the purchase order, to simplify the creation of this invoice. Most of the information is already provided. Um, you can see I've got purchase order, I've got prices, units of measure. I just need to provide my invoice number for today, my date, uh, today's the fifth, and I'm gonna invoice for a quantity of 15. I sent 15 cases and here we go. And I can just hit submit. Now that's all that's required, except that in this case, we've also come across one of the features that we call upfront validation. Um, the system, because it's aware of the things that have happened in the past, the purchase order data, and everything else that might be going on between the customer and the vendor, can tell us whether this invoice is going to be properly accepted into the invoice process. In this case, I'm overbilling my quantity. I don't have enough quantity left on my PO. Now, that could be a mistake on the supplier side, or it can be an issue um, with the customer's purchase order. Maybe um, our buyer asked for an additional um, five cases to be, and didn't update the purchase order. But in either case, um, the upfront validation allows the vendor to quickly resolve the issue in advance, ensuring that the invoice will flow quickly through um, the payment once it's done. So let's go and look at our, um, Next stage, which is workflow. As we've seen in the upfront validations, help us ensure that the information submitted by the vendor is correct at that point. But that doesn't mean that everything in the payment pro or the payables process is going to um, flow smoothly. Dispute resolution allows suppliers um, to participate in resolving issues that come after an invoice is submitted. Uh, one other job that every business has um, is accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is often concerned with primary questions such as, did you get my invoice? Are there any concerns with my invoice? Will it be paid on time? Online invoice status allows vendors um, to answer those questions on their own. So we'll hop back to our demo here and we'll look at how that works. Here, if we go to our search page, we can see a variety of invoices that are in the system from, to a variety of customers. The first thing that we'll see that stands out is that I've got an invoice in dispute. Now, right away as a supplier, I know that I need I can work on that invoice. I can drill in. We'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see exactly what's going on. And we can look at our issues tab. Now I provide window washing services and I my customers complain that the windows are still dirty. First of all, that's great. I now know that my invoice is stuck, but the benefit here is he goes further as I can respond to my customer. So instead of sending an email or making a phone call, I can come up and say, it rained after I left. Um, I'll send someone out to spot that, to spot check. This is automatically gonna to reply to those within the AP process that have a concern and hopefully we'll get my invoice to the next stage. Um, the ability for the supplier to proactively respond to these kind of concerns makes it easy for the supplier to have confidence in the AP process, as opposed to simply calling saying, hey, is there a problem with my invoice? If we go back to our search, we can also see that one of our invoices is in a match exception process. If we drill into this invoice, we might be able to find out why Though it passed the validations up front, it might still be have a problem in the process. If I go to my issues tab, there aren't any issues. I don't see why this invoice may be stuck. I just know that it's in the match exception status, but as a supplier, I can be proactive and I can come in here and I can ask the those at my customer what the issue is, match exception. 
is there a problem? This will generate a communication with those that are involved in resolving this particular match exception. Maybe they need proof of delivery or it's simply a problem on their side. In either case, the vendor can be proactive and make sure that what they are that their invoice is going to flow quickly through the process and result in payment. Let's go back and look at our last stage. As we look at payment, ACH with dynamic discounts and payment reconciliation are the two primary benefits in the payment process that suppliers get. Um, dynamic discounting is one of the more advanced features of a modern AP process. It allows your vendors with standard payment terms to offer a variable discount after an invoice has been approved or matched. Ironically, as payment processing has become more advanced, reconciliation with invoices has become more troublesome. The information often provided with an ACH or a virtual card payment doesn't make it easy for the supplier to tie back to the invoices that were submitted. So being able to look on the portal and, and make that connection is something that helps suppliers both accept those payment methods and makes their job easier. Let's go ahead and look at um, dynamic discounting. If we come across here, we're looking at an invoice here that has been approved. It's ready to pay. If we look at payments, we can see that this invoice is going to be paid um, on March 1st. Now, as a supplier, that might be fine. Terms might be great. Or I may have a need to receive that payment early, in which case I can now play with when I want it to be paid based on my terms. The customer's already said that early pay is available. I can come in, I can pick a different date, and I can see how much that particular discount will be worth to me. Is it worth $380 to get paid early? It might be, in which case I can simply check the box, and now I've agreed to be paid early in this particular invoice. As we go back, we can close this one out. We can go back to our search screen, and we can see the power of inquiry. We have on this page, again, an invoice has been paid. As we talked earlier, Sometimes it's hard for um, suppliers to match up the payment reference information given uh, by the ACH or vCard process to match back to their invoices. We can use the, our search to do that for us. In this case, I can enter a payment reference number, and it'll show me the invoices that are just tied to that particular payment. It allows suppliers to both receive and to reconcile those advanced kind of payment methods. So as you can see, the vendor portal not only adds efficiencies and automation to the accounts payable team, but it also delivers real value to our suppliers.